Ming. Uh, she is responsible for Bermuda's Immigration Board, and I have one of our senior members of the, the Bermuda Department of Immigration, the Senior uh, Compliance Manager, Mr. Macau Davis. Thank you both uh, for joining us this afternoon. Harris. Mm -hmm. Mr. Harris. <laughs> Mr. Macau Harris, thank you. I apologize. That's right. Um, good afternoon, everyone. We are here today to remind the public of the complaints process for reporting breaches to Bermuda's immigration laws. I recognize that there has been a level of sensitivity about reporting breaches to our immigration laws. I also recognize that many individuals may be either unsure or uncomfortable about the reporting process. However, I want to assure the pro public that the process is designed to allow individuals to report breaches against the immigration laws while assuring their anonymity. Also, if a reporting person, also, if reporting an individual, they would have the option provi for providing their contact details but not having their name referenced in the investigation. One of the more efficient ways to file a complaint is by making an anonymous phone call to the Bermuda Department of Immigration tip line at 296-5202. That number again for the immigration tip line is 296-5202. Other options include sending an email including and outlining details of the breach to immigrationcomplaints at gov.bm. That email address again is immigrationcomplaints at gov.bm. Or you can attend the Department of Immigration and speak to a compliance inspector. The process is simple. Once a complaint is received, it is reviewed to ensure that there is sufficient information to proceed. The department requires as much detail about the alleged breach as it allows them to provide information so the inquiries can continue. If a complaint, whether an anonymous or not, it can, uh, is only able to provide vague in details, the office will have little or no avenues to pursue. If sufficient information is provided, a case will be created in the compliance investigation manager system and later it will be assigned to a senior immigration inspector for investigation. Once an investigation is complete, it is forwarded to the principal compliance officer for review, followed by a final review conducted by the compliance manager. Certain cases are then provided to me, the minister, for a decision to be made. These decisions range from fines to directing that an individual, an individual settle their affairs and depart Bermuda. <clears throat> In the event of a fine, the, re the review process is elevated to the chief immigration officer who has the authority to level the requisite penalty. It generally takes between two and three months to conclude an investigation. In 2017, there were 150 complaints, and in 2018, there have been 150, 115 complaints to date. Some of the complaints received are as follows. Persons working without a work permit. Persons working outside of permitted, their work permitted, the work permit category. Persons employing people to work without a work permit. Persons employing people to work outside the scope of the permitted work permit category. Persons overstaying their visit to Bermuda any other matters where it is believed that someone has breached any of the provisions of the Bermuda Immigration and Protection Act 1956 or its policies and procedures. This, the department relies 100% on information provided from the public to enable them to investigate potential breaches. Information can always be done anonymously, and in that instance, we ask that the complainant leave as much detail as possible for the investigating officer. Alternatively, persons can make a complaint and leave their contact information online or via voicemail. Once the information has been reviewed and it is determined that a case will be created, it is assigned to a, a senior inspector. The department's compliance section has 17 members consisting of 
one compliance manager, two principal compliance officers who act as supervisors, 13 senior immigration inspectors, and one compliance administrator. Again, I recognize the challenges and the stigma attached to reporting persons or companies, but I cannot stress the need for the public's involvement in the process, as government cannot address all the breaches alone. So I ask all that if you see an individual or a company in breach of the immigration law, take on the responsibility, do the right thing, file a report. As was stated in the throne speech, speech the government is committed to the people of Bermuda in making the necessary changes to the immigration law and policy so that collectively all Bermudians can enjoy a better and fairer Bermuda. Thank you. Thanks for that. Afternoon, Minister. Good afternoon. <coughs> I know you're you're new to the ministry. Uh, perhaps you could um, update us. We heard uh, you know th there's been a surge in the uh, processing of work permits. Um, would it be possible to get any kind of detail on what's what's behind that? What I guess what what's been happening that wasn't happening before? Well, let me just say this. We have been looking at comprehensive immigration reform. That includes the processes and the procedures within the Department of Immigration. The immigration, the senior, the chief immigration officer and her team have conduct, have acquitted themselves and, uh, and conducted themselves admirably. We believe that over the months, just through the sheer volumes, there have been an increase. An increase. As you may or may not know, there are specific seasons for specific applications. For instance, during the renewal seasons, you will see a increase in work permit applications. During the hotel season, you will see an increase in applications. I can say specifically that we have put a system in place with three additional staff members being hired, with an increase in the budget for overtime, we see that we have tackled the, the, uh, the work permit uh, backlog aggressively. I believe this is an excellent time to look at the future with a digitization process. The department is looking at a digitization process and in the not too distant future we will be able to roll, roll that out as a part of our immigration reform. That's another brilliant question, thank you for asking. You have seen an increase in the work permit policy, and one person will suggest or opine that there has been uh, the floodgates opened for work permits. That is not the case. The board, with responsibility for looking at each and every one of the applications, does so with great deliberation. They look at each application, and it is judged on the merit. Is this necessary? Have Bermudians applied for the job? Is this an opportunity for us to close the category? Oftentimes when work permits are not vetted, they are not uh, filled out to the requisite standards, they are sent back for further and better particulate. And on occasion, people are told no. And so I would hate to leave the, mis the, the misguided notion that the floodgates have been opened and that we have not been correctly vetting those applications. Um, MP Ming and our team take their job exceedingly seriously and they have focused on work permits. We just realized that based on the seasonality of a number of the um, applications in the process, there are higher volumes at specific peak uh, seasons during the year. Good afternoon, Minister. Any updates on passport renewals? Passport renewals, it's, it's the exact same process. Um, when you say updates, what do you mean specifically? As far as the printing being done back on the island? Well, that is, that is something that we will discuss with the chief immigration officer. As you know, we, if the occasion does require emergency passports are printed in Bermuda, but the passport printing is no longer done in Bermuda. Um, is that correct? That's correct, yeah. Sure. Um, with all Bermuda passports that are being issued, they're um, issued in the UK, and this has been for a while now. Uh, typically, a passport would take about four to six weeks uh, before it returns to uh, before it's returned back uh, to the department uh, before it's sent it out to the individual that applied for it. 
some residents were having issues with the new GB curve in the newer passports. Just looking for an update on, have there been any advancements on fixing that issue? The Premier has recently returned from a trip to the United Kingdom and he discussed that matter openly with the requisite minister and we will be getting results, excuse me, we're hearing updates from that particular trip as to what the next steps will be in the not too distant future. Yes, thank you for asking. That's another good question. Um, we believe that we're going forward and we're looking at in Bermuda what we believe is comprehensive immigration reform. And so last week, and I'm glad you raised that, last week we, were, we saw the decision um, um, about the belongers and that decision has raised a lot of concern in our community. We have to highlight one thing. We realize that there is a need to have expatriate workers in Bermuda, but we will not resile from the fact that we as a government have promised to make Bermuda a place where Bermudians can get opportunity, where they have the opportunity to own a home, where they have the opportunity to get a job. And we are looking at how we keep that as a place of primacy for Bermudians. And we will not apologize for that. We believe that this entire process of immigration reform has to be done in a balanced way but one thing that we will not resolve from is for the opportunity for us to look at how do we make and keep opportunities open for Bermudians. Of course, we understand that we need guest workers in Bermuda. But guess what? We have to make sure that each company in Bermuda, we discuss a plan for training and developing Bermudians. It makes no, it makes no sense for us inviting everyone into Bermuda when Bermudians are having a challenge finding jobs in their own company. We believe that that is a balancing act, something that we are willing to do. We, thank you for that question as well. Yes, comprehensive immigration reform is something that you have, um, know was promised in the throne speech and that we have said in this parliamentary year, Parliament is prorogued in July, and we believe that we will have, prior to July, we will have the opportunity to discuss what comprehensive immigration reform looks like. Thank you. Any more questions? I just want to say, um, speaking on behalf of the board, um, the board is um, extremely um, structured in its review. We um, have maintained a very high level of integrity, and we are um, bound by the decision that we know that there are Bermudians that are challenged and that are looking for jobs, and we uh, make sure that our review is one that um, ensures that Bermudians get a fair opportunity. And as the minister said to you, we have been very diligent in ensuring that where a work permit is issued, we question where um, if there will be a development plan for Bermudians to be put in place and we've also made sure to um, have businesses highlight their training plans. So I do believe that we um, are working extremely hard to ensure that Bermudians are getting a fair shake in the employment arena and that um, the fact that we are asking for development plans and training plans as we move through this process is ensuring that there's a, even a vision in terms of where we see Bermudians and where their role can be in businesses. So um, I think I want the public to know that we are astute, we are diligent, and we lead it definitely with integrity. Thank you. And, 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 and I think that is a really important thing to stress. And I, and I, I would say it again. I listened to the um, comments of MP Richards yesterday, and everything has to be understood and taken in, a, into context. Whilst we have approved work permits, it has been done systematically, and you heard the, the process that has been used. But most importantly, going forward, we will, looking at comprehensive immigration reform, to the Bermudian that is unemployed or is underemployed, or to the young person that is abroad in school, we are working holistically as a government to ensure that you have an opportunity when you return home, or that if you see a job that is in the newspaper, that it is not a flight of fancy, that we are holding employers to account. Remember the balancing act that we're speaking of. We understand what it, th the need for the country to have expatriate workers in Bermuda, but we also understand our responsibility in ensuring that Bermudians have opportunities in their own homeland. Okay, thank you. If there's no other questions, I'd like to thank again the media for attending, and have a good afternoon.